Brad is going to need Chase Briscoe to lock on to him to push him by those two. Kozlowski had the run, but he's going to need Here the help. Comes. Here it comes. comes. Big push from Kyle Busch and from Chase Briscoe. He's locked on there, too. He's going to have to stay there. Inside Here was comes there for another a second. push from Kyle Busch on an outside. Even here. Cindric can't get too far when out. Coming, coming closer, to turn three, where it all came undone last three, year on the nine, final lap. Nine. Briscoe's out. He can't get to the Austin Cindric, whose grandfather won the run. Indy 500 as a car owner. Cindric is going to bring them to the line way up high to block Ryan Blaney. And at the line, Cindric beats Bubba oh, Wallace oh. by half a car length, and they crash going into turn one. <laughs> this race never disappoints. No, it does not. And David Reagan found one he couldn't miss. Austin yeah. Sindrick, the winner of the Daytona 500. If you remember in the pre-race, he said, a rookie, and the Holy two cars cow. never won. Holy cow's right, kid. You just won the biggest race of your life. 23-year-old Austin Sindrick from Holy Mooresville, cow. North Carolina, in yeah. his eighth cup start, gives Roger Penske a happy birthday present. With a five car length lead, Reddick looking outside Chastain. One lap to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. That's a pretty comfortable rear view mirror or digital rear view mirror looking out the back for Chase Briscoe. He's got plenty of room. He doesn't need to overdrive it. He can be smart. Bring it home. Into turn three for the final time. Driving for his boyhood idol, Tony Stewart. Chase Briscoe becomes the 200th winner in the history of the NASCAR Cup Series. If I'm his spotter, I'm telling him everything's in front of him. Don't look at that mirror. Don't worry about anything behind. Just run your lap right now. Chase Briscoe has a flat tire. One lap to go. The leader has seen the white flag, so the next flag, the race will be over. A.J. Allmendinger, three quarters of a second back. Hey guys, unless the 48 gets close, just leave him alone here. That's Allmendinger's radio. And the through the so far with Chastain. Yep. Getting through those S's really good. Through the S's, Allmendinger loses a tenth of a second to the leader. Ross has done a great job of getting off the corner, getting back to the gas, not slipping the tire. That has been his strong suit. Ages. Kyle Busch has spun but continues. And he was running fifth. I was just fixing to say the rebound of Joe Gibbs. Here it comes. The last ditch effort dive bomb. Quite a ways back. 160 miles an hour. Down this back straightaway to turn 12 and then down to 45 miles an hour Look right here. Much ground AJ Almonier gains right there. But Chastain didn't miss the apex. He's oh. on him. Almoninger's there. Open the door up. He won't open this one up though nope. right here. Nope. Oh, he's gonna use AJ's left, gonna open left, it for him. Left. He moved yeah. him! Moved him. AJ moved Is him. Is he going to get Chastain moved back? Chastain comes back. Chastain, will he answer? And Bowman wants to steal it. Oh, that he'll get the chance. Bowman's under him. Oh, my God. <laughs> Chastain's going to have to move them both. He's going to have to move them both. Oh, he is. Oh. And around Bill goes all the both <laughs> off the bumper of Chastain. And Ross Chastain beats and bangs his way to turn 20 and off One the race. corner to the checkered flag. Hey, I don't mind that. He got moved and moved him back. Absolutely. Great job, nice boy. A.J. Allmendinger didn't have anything to lose. He went for it. He dove bombing in there. He went for it, moved him out of the way, tried to win this race, tried to steal it from Chastain, did everything he could do for his win. Man, what an awesome finish for both of those guys. But Ross Chastain, whale of a job.
navigating those last two corners. They will replay the last lap of this race till the end of time. When we see the replay of that, all three of those drivers did exactly what they needed to do in that scenario. I mean, it's just unbelievable last third of the lap. Bowman, Bell, third, Chase Elliott, fourth, Tyler Reddick, fifth. But he got restarted, and there's the white flag. Sponsored by Credit One Bank, waving over Daniel Suarez. All right, white flag, about a four second, five second lead. You had one come back on here at the top of 3A. Take your time through here. You got no pressure. That's very good information. I wonder if that steering just locked up on uh, Almonding or something had to happen there. I think he just got the right sides off in the dirt here. Okay. But the good thing is Daniels through that section doesn't have to worry about that anymore. Just has to make another half good solid half lap here and get this win under his belt. He's got almost a five second lead over Chris Busher and that's 17 right now. So team owner Justin Marks, as we mentioned, Bay Area native, his dad, Michael Marks, up there on the pit box with him, awaiting what would be the crowning of NASCAR's newest cup race winner. Through turn 10 for the final time, headed for the hairpin and home. Well, the Fox season opened with Pitbull doing a concert at the racetrack in the Coliseum. He's a partner in Team Trackhouse. And through turn 12, Daniel Suarez is a NASCAR Cup winner. Here he comes. Coming up on one lap to go. Presented by Credit One Bank. White flag in the air. One more time around for Tyler Reddick. Getting a lot of great information from his team about the lead, about how he can just take it easy here. Look at him, not using all of the curve there on corner exit, just a smooth entry and exit. No problems. 71 races since Richard Childress racing one. Such an iconic team owner in this sport. Won championships with your dad, tons of races. They've been around forever and they need a win. Still by 40, make it the corner here. They put so much into developing the next gen car with NASCAR, being a big part of that. Trying to help this sport move forward. They got a real talent here behind the wheel, an opportunity for them to make some more noise deep into the playoffs with this driver. Get off by 30, just be disciplined. It was 1950, the last season, that there were five first-time winners through 18 races. And again, 1950 was the second year of the sports. And so that's why there were so many first-time winners. It has been seven decades since we have seen something like this and we are seeing an incredible rise of talent in the Cup Series. And now it's Tyler Reddick's turn. If he can hang on just a few more turns here at Road America, an emotional young man as he goes through the kink and this long straightaway. Canada corner, but Tyler Reddick at just 26 years old won a championship in the Xfinity Series for Junior Motorsports. The very next year went to RCR, won another Xfinity Series championship. They moved him up to the Cup Series. He's been battling with teammate Austin Dillon to be the top car with that organization. And now he's looking to become the 13th different winner in 2022 through 18 races, Tyler Reddick is going to win his first ever Cup Series race.